hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we'll be testing our pattern so i'll be testing the natalie bray bodice pattern with the natalie bray sleeve pattern to see how they work well together so i'm starting by transferring my pattern onto the fabric that i want to use so i'm just pinning it down and adding seam allowance to the sides the armhole and the shoulder seams so to help with drafting the bodice pattern and the sleeve pattern, I'll attach a link in the description box down below for a table of average measurements that you guys can use. This helps with drafting the pattern. So if you've noticed when I'm drafting my pattern, I always say in some areas that, you know, you need to go down by maybe a certain centimeter and this varies based on your sizes. So the table below will help you with that. So go ahead and download it. I think you'll find it really helpful. So I'm just cutting my armhole and cutting my side seams next i'm doing the same for my basic sleeve pattern so i'm pinning it down and i'm going to attach the allowance to the side and to the top also note that when you draft your bodice pattern because i just realized i did not mention this in the video about drafting bodice patterns when you draft your bodice pattern um your armhole measurement should be on average about 12 to 13 centimeter um larger than your top arm measurements but like i mentioned earlier guys with every pattern drafting method i think it is important to always try out your pattern on the muslin fabric first before you try it on your main fabric because our bodies are shaped so differently and you know like for me i have really skinny arms but i have like decent boobs i don't want to say big boobs but yes i have really skinny arms compared to my bust and compared to like my armhole measurement so my armhole measurement usually needs to be about 15 centimeter larger than my top arm measurement this is because i have skinny arms so bear that in mind but based on this method on average it should be about 12 to 13 centimeter larger for people that have more proportional body sizes but if let me say you have really big arms or you have really skinny arms compared to your body measurement then you may need to go in just to check or better still just measure the person's armhole and after you draft your pattern check the armhole and if it needs to be adjusted you may need to raise it or lower it and just make the necessary adjustments so now i've ironed it and it's time to join the sleeve pattern to the bodice pattern so we in this method the side seams don't necessarily align you need to align the top of the sleeve to the top of your body so the edge the top t of the sleeve to the shoulder seam of the body so you start by attaching the back so that's what i'm just going ahead to do i'm pinning the top of the sleeve to the top of the body starting with the back bodice just pinning it down so i'm just easing it into because the curves are not exactly the same so it's not going to fit like perfectly so you need to do some easing into but it's not i found it relatively easy to do so now i'm flipping my bodies to the other side so i can easily attach the front of the sleeve to the front of the bodice So you can see i actually did not fast forward this bit at all because i wanted you guys to actually see how long it took me to attach everything together so it was i found it relatively easy i did this in like less than two minutes if i remember correctly or if i timed correctly yeah So I'm just going ahead to pin down that middle point there so it would be easier to sew. So that's it. Like 
it was relatively easy to do and now you can see my little dance there now it's time to sew it together so just take your time while sewing i i made this by this part a bit faster because i didn't want the video to be unnecessarily long but yes it didn't take like so long to attach together you just need to take your time it was easy once i pinned it down i found it was really easy to attach the sleeve to the bodice so you guys should let me know in the comment section down below if you've tried this pattern drafting method whatever and any other pattern drafting method that you've tried that you prefer because i'm open to suggestions guys like i like i've said before you know i just started my pattern drafting journey and i wanted to share it with you and i wanted to share it with you guys so by all means i don't know it all but i have some books that i use that i found really helpful and i'll leave the link i'll leave the names of the books down below but yes just let me know for the people that have been doing this way longer than i have so guys i'm done joining my bodies to the sleeve i'm going to wear it now to show you guys but it's only off so but yes i just wanted you guys to see i wanted us to analyze it together how you know joining the armhole of the sleeve to the armhole of the bodies using the same pattern drafting method how easy it was going to be and i think it was really easy joining it together and i think the fit is really decent so this is what it looks like but bear in mind that this is only half of the body so it's not holding properly but yes this is the back hope you guys can see you guys should tell me how it looks because i can't see it but yes i think it looks really good i think it fits really well i think it sits really comfortably i think the sleeve and the bodice go really well together so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know if you've tried the Natalie Bray pattern drafting method for either the sleeve or the bodies or both the bodies and the sleeves. So it's actually really comfortable and this is the outcome guys. So that's it for today's video. See you guys in the next video. Bye.